Welcome. I am in Tinkercad on the Google Chrome web browser, and we are going to go over some navigation basics. When you open a new design and you have a blank file, it is going to look like this. And up here, you can put in the name. Tinkercad will automatically give you a name, but I would like to add my own, and I am going to call this Navigation Basics. If you want to go back to the dashboard, you can click the rainbow button. This box will just show you recent designs that are yours. The first thing that I would like to share with you are these tools right here. This is the view box and it's going to allow us to turn around the room. To show you what I mean, I'm going to add in a rectangular box right here. You do not have to do that, but if you then grab this box, you can see behind you can see underneath, you can see above. This box controls the camera or how you are seeing the Tinkercad space. You can also do this with the right side of your mouse in any of the blue space. So if I hold the right click down and move my mouse, I can also move the camera. If you get lost, Perhaps you get stuck inside of an object and you don't quite know where you are and it feels very confusing, click this home button. It'll take you back to the home view. If you have many objects in the room or an object that is right behind another, this button here can help. Let's say I want to zoom in on just the green. I can click this button after I've selected it and it will zoom in. If I have more than one selected, let's say I have these two selected and I'm busy looking over here. When I click view the selected shapes, it will zoom me in and I can't see the blue sphere, but that's okay because these are the shapes that were selected. You also have a plus and a minus and these do the zoom in and zoom out, but this is important. There is a green plus sign at the end of this. Things that are in green are showing you the hotkeys or the quick ways to do it. I can use the plus sign on my keyboard or the minus sign on my keyboard and that will also zoom in and out. If you have a mouse that allows you to put two fingers on the trackpad, you can also zoom in or zoom out with the mouse. The last button here I'd like you to ignore. An orthographic view is a flat view. For me, this is what it would look like. And it's not the most helpful for what we are doing. So I'm going to recommend you always stay in the perspective view, but if something starts to look funny, check if you accidentally press that box. Up top, we have some navigation tools. Many of these tools do not pop up unless an object is selected. I'm going to select this red rectangle. And now I have options. I can click delete. I could also use the delete key. If I wanted to undo my delete, I could hit this back button or I could use control Z. Control Z will undo what you've placed in the room. So now I'm back to my red box. I'm going to size it down and put it in the corner so I can show you these tools. We have a copy, a paste, and a duplicate. For the copy, if I click copy or in green as it says control C, I can hit paste and it will make the same size red box and I'm going to move that over just a little bit. If I hit paste again, it will make the same red box and I'm going to move it over just a little bit. Now, I have these three boxes touching, but what if I wanted to make them go all the way down to this corner? I am going to select all three boxes. I can click and hold to get the red selection tool or I can click an object and hold down the shift key to click on the next two. Then, I am going to hit the duplicate button. Duplicate is a little bit different because it is duplicating everything that I have selected, but then it's also going to remember the pattern. So when I hit it again, it adds 
to create more boxes in exactly the same way. And this is helpful when you're doing things like, I'm going to group these. We will talk about grouping in another class. And now I'm going to turn this way. And I have just made my own set of stairs just from using the box and duplicating. This is a way to make complex shapes, and we will continue learning about those. But now that you've seen the navigation basics, you understand what all of these buttons do. Thanks for watching.